Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is my first game in the Borderlands series, and what really caught my surprise was how awesome the weapon designs were. I have played other looter shooter games like Destiny and The Division, and their weapons look absolutely badass. However, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is special. Not only do they have weapons that look awesome, but there are also weapons that look completely ridiculous, specifically the melee weapons. So I found 5 melee weapons that look really goofy and wondered how can I get them and which one is the best. So today in this video we are going to go over the best melee weapons to get in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. If you find this helpful be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Tiny Tina's Wonderlands content. Anyway, let's jump into it. Number 1 is the Peg Leg. To get this melee weapon you must head over to the Walk to Shallows to fight the chance. Fast travel to the Wreck of the Tempest Scorn, go down the water slide, and then use frost weapons for a nice and easy takedown. It took me just over 30 minutes of farming to get this one, and eh, it could be better. The melee weapon's perk is Peg Leg. Melee attacks increase movement speed by 30% and reload speed by 40% for 10 seconds. I think the Peg Leg works best with the Stabomancer or maybe the Berserker. But one thing that's a certain is that I should definitely farm for a better one if I'm considering using this weapon for my build. Number 2 is the Slammin' Salmon. This fisher looking thing can also be acquired in the Walk to Shallows, but this time fast travel to the recent beach, activate the ancient obelisk that's just around the corner, and make sure you have weapons with fire damage to handle the horde of land sharks. It took me at least 12 hours to get this melee weapon. I'm not sure if the drop chance is really low or if my luck is just terrible, but the weapon's ability is pretty decent. Melee attacks always apply poison status, stacking up to 5 times. I can personally see this working well with a spell shot, as they'll be able to use more than one spell that can be a mix of elemental damage, and that actually plays well with the enchanted ability I got with the Slamming Salmon. But yeah, overall, the melee weapon isn't too bad. Number 3 is the Goblin Pickaxe. To find this weapon, you'll want to head over to Mount Craw. Fast travel to Tribute Way, jump off this part of the cliff, activate the Ancient Obelisk, and throw on a Fire Elemental weapon to clear out all the goblins. It took me exactly 9 minutes to find this melee weapon, and oh boy, this one is juiced. The weapon's perk is Goblin Pickaxe. Melee attacks spawned gold. Whenever the Fate Maker picks up gold, increase movement speed, spell cooldown rate, and action skill cooldown rate by 6% for 5 seconds. Stacks 5 times. Looking at it, this melee weapon can fit perfectly with any character in the game. This is genuinely a really good melee weapon to go for. Number 4 is the Spellblade, which can be dropped by the Wastard at the top of Karnok's wall. Fast travel to the positive headspace, drop down into the boss room and use a combination of lightning, fire and frost weapons to take him down. I don't have footage of me getting a spellblade but here is an old one I got during my first playthrough back in March and to be honest I'm not a fan of how much this relies on melee damage. The weapon's perk is spellblade. Melee attacks deal spell damage instead of melee damage. Melee attacks increase spell critical chance by 80% for 6 seconds. I can see this working well for the spell shot and it could be possible in theory to make it a one shot melee weapon build, but personally it's not for me. If you found a way to make the spell blade OP let me know down in the comments. Number 5 is the frying pan and this melee weapon is actually a well drop and funnily enough I got this one while trying to get the slamming salmon. Now the perk on this frying pan gives me straight PUBG vibes. While melee attacking, gain a 90% chance to reflect incoming bullets and a 15% chance while holstered. Furthermore, one of the traits on the frying pan will reduce bullet and projectile damage from the rear by 90% while holstered. So with this melee weapon, you can tank a lot of damage when being shot in the back. But regardless, the frying pan is still very strong and I think this can work well with every character in the game too. So now that we have the 5 most unique melee weapons in the game, which one is the best? Well in 5th place it would have to be the Peg Leg, in 4th place the Spellblade, in 3rd the Slammin' Salmon, and in joint 1st 
is the frying pan and the goblin pickaxe. The frying pan works great if you're looking for a build that will keep you alive for a long time. And the goblin pickaxe is also great if you're looking to constantly replenish your abilities to deal a greater DPS output. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is where I'm going to wrap it up for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Much love, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.